solving systems of equations, a two by two. Sure, with matrices. Hopefully we can make the connection minus 15x minus 3y equals a minus 27 and 6x plus y is 11. First thing we do is transform it into a matrix. And then what? We need a game plan. This is the game plan. The game plan. Get a one in row one, column one. Then kill the rest of that column, mean get zeros. And then get a one in row two, column two. Then kill the rest of the column, meaning getting zeros. At that point, you're gonna be left with something like one, zero, zero, one, x, y, Boom. Except those are going to be numbers. And those are the numbers when you answer the point. Answer as a point. Now that we have that game plan, we need to know, we need to know, we need to go, and we need to get a 1 right there. Then kill that 6. But to get a 1 right there, we're going to multiply by the multiplicative inverse. Minus 1 15th, row 1. Put it back in row 1. All right, so then I divide that by a minus 15 and I get one, the desired effect. I divide that by a minus 15 and I get a one fifth, because three divided by 15 reduces down to one fifth and it's positive because those have the same sign. And then I have nine over five, why? Because 27 divided by 15 reduces down to nine fifths. Now, what do I need to do? Step two of our game plan. I need to kill that six. In order to kill that six, I do the additive inverse of that. So that's a minus six times row one plus row two. Now I need to point to you with this notation, we're only changing the second term in that expression. So we're only changing row two. So we rewrite row one. So rewrite row one. Didn't do nothing to it, we use it. So minus six times one is minus six minus six plus six is zero. The desired effect. And then we're doing minus six times one fifth gives us minus six fifths. Minus six times one fifth plus one. Bam! All right, because it's minus six times row one plus row two. And that's how we would write it. So that's a minus six fifths. So then this is going to be a five fifths because we got to get a common denominator. And then, and then, minus six plus five is a minus one fifth. Then we're doing minus six times row one plus row two. So that's minus six times nine fifths plus 11. So then, oh, that's minus 54 fifths plus 55 fifths. When I get that common denominator, man, we are low. Anyway, we go, and minus 54 plus 55 is one. So then I have a one fifth right here. Woo! Fraction action. Get yourself a nice calculator that does pretty print fraction action. So now what? Could I add this row to that and get my zero there? Sure, but we're doing it as if a computer would do it. And this is gonna be, get a one right there. So that's minus five times row two. Put it back in row two. Minus five times zero. Minus five times zero is zero. Minus five times a minus one fifth is a positive one. <sighs> How nice! Because we were trying to get a one right there. Minus five times one fifth is a minus one. Fun. And then now what? Now that we got that one, we need to go and we need to kill that one fifth. To kill that one fifth, we multiply that by the additive inverse of one fifth. And that's a minus one fifth row two plus row one. Again, the only row that's changing from matrix to matrix is the back one. And until you're a professional, only change one row, one row at a time. So we're using row two. Boom, rewrite it. Then 
We want to go and we want to, um, one fifth times zero is zero plus one is one. That's why we do it in this order, diagonally. Minus fifth times one is a minus one fifth. Minus one fifth plus one fifth is zero. Very nice. Minus fifth times, oh boy. So I have minus one fifth times a minus one, because that's one fifth, row two, add it to the digit that's here. Whoa, nine fifths. That's not a digit. Can a digit be a fraction? I don't know. Anyway, we got the digits, and this is positive one fifth plus nine fifths is ten fifths, and that's how we end up with a deuce. Now, we deduce that we need to write our solution as a point. So what's my point? What's my x? Two. What's my y? Minus one, and then what? But if you don't believe me, check it. You could always check it by throwing it up into the original. But I think that's good. And I apologize for the air conditioning noise. This is being shot in California in the middle of the summer, and it's hot! Like this example. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. <laughs>